Hello, my name is Philip Entz. I'm from Buckmaster Office Solutions. Today I wanted to put together a short video on how to set up your Rico multifunction printer um, for scan to email. First thing we'd want to do on the panel, it should look pretty similar to this on your device. Um, we'd hit the home button on the bottom of the screen. From here, we would have settings. It may say user tools on specific models as well. From here, we would have machine feature settings. Then we have system settings. And then we have file transfer. Under the file transfer screen, this is all the settings that would need to be set up for Scandi email. Um, ultimately, you'd want to go to SMTP server here, select on that. Enter in your server name and port number for your specific email provider. This can vary depending on what your email provider is. You'd want to consult with them to verify the correct settings. For Office 365, these are the correct settings. Um, so smtp.office365.com, port 587, and use secure connection SSL on. After we have all this set correctly, we can hit the connection test button. It should give us a successful um, connection. Hit exit, hit OK. From here, we'd also want to fill out the SMTP authentication section right here. This would be whatever user account we're going to be using for sending emails. Um, so it would have to be a valid email address within your Office 365 organization. For here, for our testing purposes, we just have scan at buckmasteroffice.com. Um, same thing with the email address, username and email are often the same for most providers. Um, that would be um, specific to your email provider, though sometimes the username will be different. Um, after that, we'd want to hit change and enter in our password. Once we have all that in here and back at this screen, we'd hit OK. And the last thing for setting up the email server settings would be this administrator email address. This should typically match the user account that's being used for um, the authentication, since this is actually what the machine is going to try to send the emails from. Um, so it's typically going to match the same email address in all three of the sections. Once we have that entered, hit OK. And our, we also can hit this Auto Specify Sender Name button here and make sure that's turned on. That way, any emails will just automatically come from the scan um, administrator's email address that you had set in here without having to specify it each time. Um, you could make it so you have to specify each time as well if that's something your organization wanted, but typically we'd turn this on and let it all come from the scan at Buckmaster or, or whatever email address that you're using. Once that in, you can exit out back to the home screen. Just keep exiting until we get the home button. Go back to home. And for the last part, if we go to the actual scanner screen, we can actually manually enter in email addresses to have quick dials set up within the system. If we hit the manual entry button here, we can type in whatever email address we want to put in. This is just a dummy email address I'm adding for demonstration purposes. Once we have the email in and everything's verified that it's correct, hit OK. From here, now we could actually hit the program destination button on the right here. Once we hit that, it's actually going to open up the address book in order for us to name the address item. What we do is hit where it says name required, put in whatever name we wanted to give this, hit done, verify that's correct and hit OK. At this point, it will bring us back to the scanner screen and we can actually see our new address item was en entered as a quick dial here. If we click on it, you can see it shows up here and now we're ready to scan. We could place our documents into the document feeder, hit start, and it would scan to this email address. That scan to email in a nutshell. We plan on making more of these videos, so please feel free to follow and let us know if you have any questions.